During World War II, it wasn't just Chinese troops in the fight. Some were from places like the United States. U.S. Army General Joseph Stilwell was one of them. He helped win many battles in Burma, later to become known as Myanmar. But though his name is widely known among military history buffs in China, that is not the case here in the United States. In fact, many Americans aren't familiar with China's name for the war, the War of Resistance Against Japanese Aggression. Here to talk about some of these untold parts of World War II is Kurt Peeler. He's the director of the Institute on World War II and the Human Experience at Florida State University. He joins us from the city of Tallahassee. Kurt, welcome. Thank you for having me. So I was mentioning most of the West, they, they don't know much about the war and China's involvement, if anything, about these specific battles. Why is that? It, it's interesting how in, in, when, we, when Americans were fighting in the war itself, because of the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor, there was much more focus on the Pacific during the war itself. Um, and there was a lot of focus on China. I mean, it's sort of funny, last week, last Friday night, I was watching an old black and white movie, God is My Co-Pilot, which is centered about the, the, the Claire, Claire Chenault's um, uh, uh, pilots that fought for the Japanese and then later served with the American Air Force. Uh, but it's been a diminishing memory, and some of that's really a legacy of the Cold War, when, ch when, when China and the United States were adversaries during the Cold War, we had forgotten about the wartime alliance we had with China and how important China was to achieving victory. And of course, a turning point in that war was battle at Songshan in Yunnan province. Forces retook a road to let Allied supplies into China. Why was this so significant? And how important is it to remember key events like this? Well, I mean, the opening of the, of the, the land route to, to China was essential to sort of supporting the Chinese war effort. Uh, when the Japanese had cut land, land links between India uh, and the coastal cities of China, the only way that supplies could effectively come to China was through air. And you could never really supply the needs of China, despite the valiant efforts of American pilots. You could never get enough supplies. So the opening up of the, of the Burma Road um, really was essential. I mean, it was really the death nail for the Japanese in terms of their efforts to conquer, uh, conquer China. And Kurt, you teach about alternative perspectives on historical events, including World War II. What is the biggest thing about World uh, War II from China's perspective that you feel Americans don't know? One of the things I always say in my first lecture when I teach a World War II class, um, and I always want to leave students, even if they don't take the class with this point, that Americans often have a very American-centric view of World War II. And I often make the very simple point that it would have been a very different war for America, which did lose a number of, of lives. We lost over 330,000. But the bulk of the Japanese army was confronted by the Chinese army, and the bulk of the German army was, was confronted by the Soviet army. And if that hadn't been the case, we would not be called, Americans often call World War II the good war, and one of the reasons you can call it the good war is because we did not suffer the grievous loss of life of either the Soviet Union or, or of China. Uh, and million. I guess that would, be one, that would be one of the most important lessons. The other important lesson is when World War II started, particularly in, in Asia, you might legitimately call, use, the, use 1931 as the date or 1938, but uh, not 1941. And, and finally, Kurt, it's been 70 years since the end of World War II, but the wounds of this war are still uh, fairly raw and fresh in China. Can you elaborate on that? Well, I mean, I, I, think, um, I think one of my regrets about when I study World War II is, is the failure of reconciliation, and to be honest, the failure of the Japanese to take full responsibility for, the, for, for many of their uh, essentially war crimes during the war, which is unfortunate. I, unfortunate. I wish that Japan would more follow the model of Germany, where there's been much more reckoning with their past. All right. Thank you so much. Um, Kurt Peeler. Thank you very much for having time. me. All right. Thank you.